What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and Pokemon Masters finally dropped their very first event, and it's all focused around Blue, who and Blue and his Pidgeot. And so we're gonna start talking about the event, what you need to know, and uh, what you can expect to get out of it. And we'll talk about Blue himself a little bit as well. Here we go. So our first stop, we're not gonna be here very long, is the Pokemon Masters subreddit. And I have to say, I'm a little disappointed that there's not a whole lot of very useful information here yet. Uh, I'm hoping that this will kind of organically grow. I feel like it's just a place for memes right now. Uh, but over time, someone will uh, kind of like emerge as like oh I'm going to give useful content about new events and stuff like that but for now we're gonna be referring to pokemonmasters.gamepress.gg they kind of do a lot of different wiki pages for various games and so they do have a update for uh, the story event reach for the top featuring blue all right so what do we need to know I'm um, not crazy about this event I'm hoping that this is the pilot one and from there you know you can expect good amount of changes for future events and I'm gonna start with the campaign period starting uh, or, or started like basically late last night but I'll be going till the end of September so there's two things that um, one of two things I'm hoping to happen is basically future events will just be shorter or there is significant overlap between events um, I like the idea of one of the games I play, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, uh, they kind of have like two events always going on and there's like a week overlap. So if you manage to finish it in a week, you're done, uh, you can go on the next one, or you, maybe you'll be farming two different things, which isn't that bad. It does, it's not too overwhelming, but four weeks is really long. I'm hoping this is just because it's the first one. Alright, so in order to begin the event, uh, you do have to clear chapter 5, which is kind of when you get Skyla. That's not too hard. You can easily do it using all free to play. I think you can use it using only Pikachu, actually. Uh, but general information, so there's a bunch of kind of like story um, missions and stuff like that and different quests you can do. And towards the end, so I went through maybe like the first half and it's like, it's basically an auto scroller. Uh, where you don't really do anything, you can't really battle. Uh, all blue is doing all the work, and blue is fighting with you. And in fact, it feels like it's a—it's basically like an advertisement for blue for you to to get him get to get you to try to summon for him, which is a little weird. But at the same time, while you're doing it, you're basically getting free resources, free gems, and stuff like that. So, what do we get out of this event? So, if you were just curious about, like, all right, what is the bottom line? Uh, going through the first time the story events for the first time, you get a total of 250 gems, uh, and then doing all the rest of the missions, you can get up to 350, um, and then a bunch of these voucher things, and then some pearls, which we don't really care about pearls. But 350, uh, it's, that's this what I'm saying. Like, for an event that's going to be for the better for basically an entire month. 350 gems is not bad considering, I don't know, you could probably uh, go through, get that 350 gems in a, an hour or two. Uh, but, you know, when if this is all we're going to get for an entire month, that to me is very disappointing and feels very, uh, not a lot. <laughs> Especially when it costs so much to do summons, like when you think about it, that's like a single summon. But, uh, alright, and uh, we'll take a look at Blue, the new banner, but, uh, so, the way that these banners will work, it seems, is they do have a 2x appearance rate from other non-featured sync pairs. However, that's like per sync pair, not per getting any other 5 star. Or, getting a 5 star. So, 2x the rate is not that much. This is like 2% chance. Uh, that is super low. And let's just see what this says. Sync pair will be featured for a limited time. Featured sync pairs have a higher chance of appearing than other ones. No, it's not entirely clear yet from this wording whether it will be limited and will be removed. That's a good point. Um, so during his like advertising phase in the event, he does seem really strong. Um, but you know, in the event that he stays in the pool, like I think absolutely this is a no-go. Uh, if he's kind of like a limited banner and then he goes away. Um, maybe it's worth taking a shot with your resources that you have. I don't, I wouldn't say it's necessary to, I, I would say, I would strongly advise against spending money to pick him up. Um, he's strong, but, and you'll probably be the the best like air type attacker for some period of time, but I, I find it very hard to believe that he's 
necessary to complete anything in this game or you know except maybe those ex things but i don't think we need to complete those at all uh all right so there's a bunch of missions um so it looks like there's i think i went through most of this already but eventually you can go through all the single player stuff pretty easily it's again it's like it's like an auto scroller or kind of like a very easy quick time event where all you do is hit next every once in a while because blue does all the work uh, eventually you'll get to the point where you just have to farm the co-op modes um, like in the just two different levels and like seems like the drops are not overly different where the hard one drops an additional two of these tickets and then you're basically done with the event. I feel like you could do this all an entire day. It lasts for a month though, so take your time, don't rush. Actually, that's that's my mantra for the entire game, to be honest. Uh, yeah, we're kind of like playing the the one I did, and you can see like I'm not actually doing anything, uh, just going through talking stuff, and then eventually Blue will just do all the work for me. But all right, so we get get these kind of like ticket things, and what do we do with these? Uh, so you can go bring these to the exchange shop. There, it's kind of depressing how little there is. I feel like one thing that they should have done was, you know, I feel like almost every game you can get like these ticket things to do a free summon. And I'm disappointed that Pokemon Masters didn't have anything. Uh, I feel like that's a perfect item for the event shop is, you know, farm the event and you can get a free few summons. You know, you don't have to give that many. But uh, the main item here is just going to be these five star power ups. Um, so I would say this is kind of like, alright, the power creep, not the power creep, but before the only way to get these was to get like the same 5 star like 5 times or something insane like that. That would probably cost, I don't know, $1,000 or something like that. Um, but now we can pick them up through the event. Uh, so this is how you can increase sync pair's uh, number of stars. And um, we'll go more into this when we actually do farm some. Uh, there's not a whole lot of information, so I'm not entirely sure if this is just to increase potential. It does say that the only way to get them is to uh, get like a six five star, so that's insane. So obviously this is the way to go. And um, all right, for the last part of our video, I think we'll actually talk about Blue for a little bit. Blue and Pidgeot. So Pidgeot is very strong, um, and it can evolve into Mega Pidgeot. I believe is that through the sink. Uh, but all right, let's take a look, look at the stats. Uh, so this website is actually super useful. It does kind of like rank them. And so Pidgeot is a special attack uh, striker, uh, which is good because in my opinion, like all the other ones are just there to support. So you don't need the necessarily in the top tier. They just need the right abilities. Um, however, the strike ones, you know, it's like, all right, well, you just need to be strong. And Pidgeot definitely fits that category. Uh, coming in third for special attack. And uh, so yeah, all of its stats are pretty good. Overview, uh, some strengths, high stats, and buffs. So his toolkit is kind of like one of the ones. It's not that different from Lycanroc where, oh, I can make myself have more crits and then I can make myself stronger. Uh, the only advantage Lycanroc is it can only as well make you uh, faster over time. All right, let's see. So smell you later boosts evasion, which is nice. Uh, accuracy and crit hit rate. Uh, the accuracy is pretty good. I really appreciate that. It's kind of annoying when things take much longer because you keep missing. And then just a straight up, like, alright, we'll increase our attack. Uh, so a very toolkit that's very suited to, like, hey, I'm just gonna, I'm just here to do damage. Uh, some weaknesses, low base accuracy has some build-up phase. And the reason why, so, Air Slash. Uh, one thing is, his moveset changes overall. It must be because it evolved. Um... So when you do evolve World Swallowing Hurricane, you do become Mega Pidgeot, and I think the moveset might change at that point. But either way, this um, AOE attack is super strong. Uh, it's kind of strange. Oh, so if you do use Air Slash, which is the single target, you do have a chance to make uh, your opponent flinch, or you can go for this AOE that has a good chance to do crits. Um, they say low base, like actually 95, not that bad. <laughs> so very strong Pokemon. Um, worth it almost certainly no unless like i guess if you're going through everything for the first time um you know and like all right hey i finally got my 3,000 free gems like what should i do is like hey you know take a pass out of summon you might as well you know you've been playing this game and that's kind of like your reward uh you can take a shot at it 
If you already use those gems, then I would recommend just holding on to them. Uh, that's most likely what I'll do. Um, is he good? Yes, but you don't need him. <laughs> I would say that's the bottom line. Um, so the first event has started. Um, I think my biggest complaint is the duration. Again, I'm hoping that's just because they're still onboarding a lot of uh, player base and stuff like that, and maybe the events will become quicker or more frequent like that. So, but uh, yeah, hope you guys do enjoy the new event. Make sure you do get those five star, um, not books, but power ups. And because that's probably going to be the only thing that you should make sure you get before the event concludes. But you have an entire month. Like, seriously, take your time. No rush. Um, so that's going to be it for today, guys. As always, let me know what your thoughts are down below. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support on the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Moan Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.